In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Antminer S9. More specifically, we're gonna talk about solo mining Bitcoin with the Antminer S9. Just a few days ago on ckpool.org, somebody solo mined a Bitcoin block worth 6.25 Bitcoin or around $160,000 with, yes, you're right, an Antminer S9. Now, it is like gambling, it is like playing the lottery, but mining a solo block, you have better chances than playing your local lottery. Now, I've been solo mining Bitcoin on thumb drives and small Bitcoin miners, but I'm gonna step it up today and um, I'm gonna show you how to solo mine Bitcoin on an Amp Miner S9 using ckpool.org. Now, will I mine a solo block? Probably not, but with the Amp Miner S9, the chances are pretty high because it seems like maybe once a month or at least every other month, somebody, that's right, with an Amp Miner S9 is mining a solo block. So. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buy my lottery ticket, I'm going to roll the dice and gamble, and we're gonna get that thing solo mining right now. So the Antminer S9 is powered on, and it looks like we are officially mining on each board. Everything looks good in here. Now, before we go inside and find the IP address and change all the settings so we can start solo mining, Let's just do a quick update about what's going on in the crypto mining garage. Now, before we do that update, let me just tell you the crypto mining shed, we have some breaking news. We're gonna talk about it here in a couple of days. It could be good, it could be bad, depending how you're looking at it. For me, I think it's good. But anyways, let's start at the top shelf. So. We've got the Neo mining. I was making $5 a day in LMXC on the silver tier. Now I'm on the gold tier. I'm not quite sure how much I'm making, but you know, I know it's over $5 a day. We will be doing an update on that soon. I'm waiting to get the tutorials out and um, go back to the bronze level. Now we have the mini miners, the mini Doge miner, the mini KDA and the CK box miner. Not very profitable right now, and especially while I'm running the large ASICs, so I do have those turned off. And then we have the L3 right here from Coastal Crypto that we're gonna be making some videos on soon. Now, we have the K7, KA3, and E9 Pro. Obviously, I'm mining CKB, I'm mining Kadena, I am mining Ethereum Classic, but I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin. I'm using two miners. I was solo mining with the E9 Pro, but after seven days, all I could get was one block, and I just felt like it was gonna be more profitable earning that Bitcoin. And other than that, we have the Evergreen Miner right here. I'm waiting on an update, so it's currently turned off. We have the iPolo V1 Mini SE, and I have this on nice hash mining Bitcoin. And then we have the other um, Bitcoin miners down here. I just don't have enough power and they're not as profitable as these miners. So they're currently sitting down here looking for somewhere to put them in. Then we have the three node miner that's gonna be going upstairs soon. And of course, the Amp Miner S9. It looks like it's mining right along. So let's go inside, let's find the IP address, and let's get it set up. Oakley Doakley, welcome to another video. And if it's your first time here, my name's Tech Hustler. We mine cryptocurrency here, but we also go over the latest crypto projects and even review some websites and applications that you can start using right now to make a little bit of crypto on the side. So if you like that, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that like button too. That's the number one thing you can do to support my channel. And as always, I have to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. As of the recording date of today's video, which is June 12th, 2023, the current price of Bitcoin, and that's gonna be BTC on the ticker, is sitting at $25,824. 
Currently down around half a percent, but you already know we're down from that all time high over 60%. Now that all time high was $68,789. That was two years ago on November 10th, 2021. Now, if you mine a solo Bitcoin block, you're gonna get 6.25 Bitcoin, which is currently worth around $160,000. Now we're gonna have the Bitcoin halving next year, which is going to cut this in half. And usually, remember not financial advice, but usually after a halving is when we're gonna see that bull run ignite. So I'm thinking around 2025, we should see some new all time highs for Bitcoin, unless the government kills it first. So, like I said earlier, I've been solo mining Bitcoin for a few years now. Obviously, I haven't mined a solo block, but I play the lottery too, and I haven't won the lottery yet, so I digress. Now, I've been using smaller miners, like these USB miners. This is the Mars Lander solo Bitcoin miner from Bitcoin Merch. Now, I've used several of these miners, and I'm still mining with them, but I want more power and with more power comes more money so before we move on to the ant miner s9 i just want to go over a few of these smaller usb miners and smaller asic miners that you can start using right now to solo mine bitcoin and here we are on bitcoinmerch.com and we're just going to go over some of their miners that i think are decent for solo mining now here's the ant miner s9 and i'm not gonna lie i love bitcoin merch but um this is priced a little high for me. I would not purchase an Antminer S9 from Bitcoin Merch. Now, what Bitcoin Merch does is they create a lot of their own products like, let's see, right here. This is the Bitcoin Merch Mars Lander Solo Bitcoin Miner, 250 giga hash, so a quarter of a tera hash for right around $500. And I will have links for pretty much everything we talk about in the description down below that can save you a couple bucks on your solo mining journey. You can see a little um, a dual miner right here. Now this is an older version and um, would definitely take a long time to uh, mine a solo block. Now scrolling down, we have the Futurebit Apollo Bitcoin miners. These are pretty sweet. Plus you can run a Bitcoin node with them. And then we have the Gecko Science R909. This is 1.6 up to 2.3 terahash. And the list goes on and on. And here's some more of their USB miner kits. And real quick, just another option for these USB and these mini solo miners is Altair at altairtech.io. Not only do they have these mini miners, but they also have a lot of crypto mining accessories like metered PDUs and cables and stuff like that. So I'm going to have a link for them in the description down below as well. When it comes to the Antminer S9, you can go the eBay route. And I've done it. I've probably bought 10 or 15 Antminer S9s from eBay. And you always want to make sure to buy the PSU as well. And you definitely want to make sure they have some good feedback. But one thing about the Antminer S9 is they are very old. And the older they get, the more problems you run into. For one, the PSUs. The PSUs will fail. And then like clockwork, the hash boards start to fail. So you can order an Antminer S9 from eBay, but by the time it gets to your door, you might only have one or two hash boards working. Even if everything's working after a couple of months, nine times out of 10, something goes wrong and it's usually those hash boards burn out. And by that time, you really can't return it on eBay. So this is what I do. So East Coast ASIC is a trusted crypto miner distributor. They're also trusted when it comes to refurbished crypto miners like the Antminer S9. And you can see right here, you can get it for $399.99 you can add a couple more bucks on if you want to get the PSU. So I would go this route. You're gonna pay a little bit more than you're going to pay on eBay, 
But if you have any problems with your miner, you can give East Coast ASIC a holler and they're going to take care of you. Now, they have more than Amp Miner S9s, obviously. They're gonna have your script miners, your Kadena miners. Look at that right there, the L7. Ugh, I wish I can get an L7 so bad, but I feel like the L9 will be coming out in the near future. So anyways, that's East Coast ASIC. As always, link in the description down below. Now, we're gonna go over the profitability of the Ant Miner S9 and why I really think it's good to use for solo mining. So, I love the Ant Miner S9. It is the best beginner crypto miner, it's definitely the best beginner Bitcoin crypto miner. It's affordable for a couple hundred bucks. You can get between 16 and 17 terahash. Now we can compare that to these little USB miners or even that R909 miner. And you're only getting at max 2.1, 2.3 terahash at over $600. Now, of course, you're only using a fraction of the electricity but with the Antminer S9, you can cut the electricity back as well. All you have to do is unplug a hash board, unplug two hash board, and the electricity usage will drop. Now, when it comes to profitability, of course, right now with a $25,000 Bitcoin, it's not that profitable at all to mine to a pool. You can see right here, you're gonna lose $1.97 a day if you were mining to a pool. That's why we use this to solo mine. That's why the Amp Miner S9 is so popular for solo mining because they're cheap and for the price you pay, you're gonna get a lot of terahash. Oakley Doakley, so we're getting ready to set up our Amp Miner S9 to solo mine Bitcoin. But first we need to talk about ckpool.org. That's where we're gonna be solo mining too. And our first stop is right here on Twitter with Dr. Khan Kalivas. This is the dev of CK Pool. And right here, we're just gonna scroll down a little bit and you can see seven hours ago, a solo Bitcoin miner with only 17 terahash, allegedly an amp miner S9, won a block reward worth 6.25 Bitcoin worth over $160,000. And like I said earlier, this is nothing new. Several times this year already, a crypto, a Bitcoin miner with low terahash, which could be an ant miner S9, has mined a solo block on ckpool.org. So let me show you how to do it. So here is the Bitcoin mining solo pool that we're gonna use. Solo.ckpool.org. No frills, no fuss, 2% fee, anonymous solo Bitcoin mining for everyone. So if you mine that solo Bitcoin block worth 6.25 Bitcoin, they're only gonna charge you 2% of that for using their services. So out of $160,000, they're gonna take 2%. Now, this is all you need right here. The stratum, solo.ckpool.org. 3333 three, three, three. and you can copy and paste it exactly right here and then your username is going to be your bitcoin wallet address and we always use password x so that's all we need we're simply going to do some copy and paste it into the ant miners uh, ip address so let's find the ip address and let's get mining so to find the IP address of your Ant Miner S9, and this will work for any crypto miner or really anything connected to your network. First, you can go into the router settings and scan through all of the IP addresses there until you find one that says Ant Miner, and then open that up. But I like to do it the easy way. I downloaded this IP scanner right here, Angry IP Scanner. Now just plain IP scanner is another great one you can use, but simply download this, install it. I'm gonna pull up my box right here. Now, obviously I'm not gonna show y'all my IP addresses, but you're just gonna click start right there and bada bing, bada boom. Once you find your ant miner, 
go ahead and click on that and then copy and paste the IP address. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now I've already been logged in once, so it might not ask for the password. And there it is, we are in, and as you can see, I am already solo mining. But when you get to this screen, it's gonna ask you for a uh, username and a password, and it's always gonna be root, root with uh, any ant miner miner. So I am actively solo mining. I snaked ya, I tricked ya, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to win this lottery. But anyways, what we're gonna do, and you're gonna do this to solo mine, to pool mine, or anything, we're gonna go over here to minor configuration. Now, remember that stratum, let's go back to ckpool.org. We're going to copy and paste that, and all you have to do is paste it right here in the URL. We have our stratum plus C, TCP solo.ckpool.org 3333. And there is my worker, AKA my Bitcoin wallet address. And if you want to send me some Bitcoin, especially if you want to send me 6.25 Bitcoin, go right ahead. And then our password is always X. So that is pretty simple. That is the only thing you have to do. And if you want to mine anywhere else, you can simply change the URL right here. Now, we will have an Ant Miner S9 best beginner Bitcoin miner video coming out in the near future, but we're pretty much gonna go over the same exact thing. So once you have all your settings in there, all you're gonna do is click save and apply. Then we're gonna go back over here to miner status. You're gonna see if you are up and mining, and right here you can see every single hashboard is mining everything is clear we're sitting at 14.5 terahash now we can go back here to ckpool.org and you can type in your bitcoin wallet address right there and it's going to bring this screen up and you can see we are currently mining at 16.5 terahash we are currently solo mining with 16.5 terahash now in the comments down below, how long do you think I'm gonna have to mine until I find that solo block? Oakley Doakley, so that's pretty much gonna do it for solo mining Bitcoin with the Amp Miner S9. Now I'm gonna turn this back on and I have a couple other little miners as well so hopefully I can get that solo mining hash rate up and one more time if you didn't catch it how long do you think it's gonna take for me to mine a solo block I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not going into this thinking that I'm going to mine a solo block but I will run that Antminer S9 while I can afford it. So that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Tech Hustler. Happy mining. Peace.